Hey everybody, all right, so welcome to my channel. As you know, this is Upfront and Honest Reviews. So today on my walk and talk, I said that I might record me doing the torque on my car because the other video I have is what it looks like after it is done. Okay, so uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you wanna make sure that your car is clean and that it is dry and that it is at a cool temperature. Okay, so just make sure that it has not been sitting out in the sun and that's pretty much it for the prep before you start okay so this is like I said it's called torque I don't know if you guys can see that t-o-r-q-u-e detail and it says I don't know if, if that's a one or an I so it's either si or s102 spray sealant instant ceramic coating ultra hydrophobic up to 12 months protection and um, on the back here it has the instructions so it says shake before use what it does not tell you is that you're supposed to shake it every time before you spray it and when you spray you want to like squeeze the trigger kind of fast you want quick short sprays okay so it already pretty much goes over like decontaminate the surface it's very important before applying silica seal that's the other name for it, um, but you will find it under torque. And pretty much everything I told you guys um, to avoid direct sunlight, apply to a cool surface, miss a small amount on the surface, a little goes a long way and it does. Okay, so basically I don't really have to read the rest of this to you because I'm just gonna show you guys. You wanna make sure you have a microfiber cloth and you need two of them. So I have one here. One is for your back and forth motion, a very light, you don't have to push very hard. You're not trying to exactly rub it in when you first go across back and forth. And then the second one is to buff the surface, but you buff in a circle. Okay, so other than that, it just says number seven, coating is ultra hydrophobic and cures within minutes. However, we recommend a five our full cure time for maximum benefits. Okay, so this protects your car. If you have like some small scratches, it kind of starts to fill them in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up. And hopefully I don't get my towels mixed up because I'm using two towels that came out of the same pack so they're the same color. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make that my circle towel and make this my back and forth towel. And you wanna just pick a surface and then you spray. Now I haven't done this in a long time. Um, you can do your mirrors and your windshield and everything like that, your windows. Um, and I said mirrors, but I meant your uh, windows here on the car and your side and your mirrors. Okay, so I sprayed that on there. And then what you wanna do is you wanna spray a second surface. So what I think I might do is I might start with maybe, maybe half the hood. So I'll start here okay now I actually was supposed to shake that but I shook it up pretty well the first time okay so I'm going to lay this here and um, you get the bottle the little sprayer and everything in there so this is the first surface I sprayed I'm going to go back and forth very lightly from side to side Okay, so that's all I sprayed. Now, I'm gonna take this towel and put it down. And the idea is to let it sit, like it said, for a second, or at least maybe we'll call it like 20 seconds. So I'm gonna pick another surface here. And um, let me look and see what you guys can see. Okay, I think I've been able to see one half of the car. Okay, yeah, you guys can. Okay, so I might have to move you guys from time to time and end. My phone is on a ring light, but yeah, you guys can pretty much see it. All right, so I'm gonna pick this area here, or the shape first, and spray. And you know what? Normally I wouldn't do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole door there. Okay, so this part is ready for the circle. 
this part is ready for the back and forth. So you want to go to the second surface and I have a couple scratches up here. I'm going to put a little bit more to try and pull them in. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, it's a little easier for my husband to fill that in. I still haven't figured out how he perfected that technique, but just back and forth very lightly. And I have to remember what part of the hood I sprayed. Okay, so that's the side to side towel. Now you come back here and you do your circle. Okay, and I believe there's parts of it that I missed. But you want to make sure that it actually rubs in. Okay, and I don't think I went down there, so there's my circle. And you can apply a little more pressure than what you would if you were doing the back and forth. Okay, so that tells back up there. Now, this part here is ready for the back and forth. And then you go to your circle. Okay, so you guys are kind of get it just... If you have to rewind my video, I'm not going to record the whole thing because it would take about 45 minutes for me to show you guys the whole thing. And if you're like me, the bottom of the car is always the hardest to dry. Okay, so that's my side to side. And then here's my circle. And I actually was supposed to spray another surface before I did the circle, but that's okay. For some reason, it's a little hazy right here. Like I said, these scratches here are just kind of stubborn. Okay, so that's that. And then, yes, I will do, let's do, let's see, here in the window. Okay, so I did mess up a little bit. I was supposed to spray that surface first because that would be my side to side, but that's actually okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do since I sprayed this second and this first, I'm gonna come back and do my side to side here or back and forth, a small area. And if you've been using your towels for a while, don't forget to shake them out. And it looks like I missed that. But remember the door? I still haven't done the circle. I just thought about that. Okay, so that's my side to side. And I just sprayed the window, so I'm going to circle my door. Remember the window is wet, I'm letting that sit. And I have not sprayed the inside of this, so the door can be the circle. So maybe I didn't mess up. But I'll keep going long enough for you guys to kind of get the idea of it because I forgot I did spray this whole door and from time to time you're going to find that it's not going to be as good as you want it sometimes it's going to turn out a lot better than you expected and sometimes it's not and like I said that part down there is wet so I'm kind of going to I really don't want to leave it but this is not dry so I'm going to shake the towel out. I do need to get the water off of here. I wanted to have the spots. And then usually if I'm not recording, I kind of like talk myself through it. So that needs a side to side, which means I can spray another surface. And I know I've been forgetting to shake it. So what I'll do is, you know what? I'll take care of this mirror real quick. It needs one spray. Okay, so the mirror has to be side to side or back and forth as the bottle says. And then if you have hyper dip on your car, like if you did chrome to the, like I did, don't spray the torque on your hyper dip or your plastic dip. Okay, so that got side to side, that's still wet and I need to pick another surface. Yeah, I just put in a surface before I go side to side on that one. So we'll do, let's do this one though. This thing is twisting on me here. Okay. So this needs the side to side. Oh wow, I'll show you guys. I'll pause and then come back. 
This is my circle cloth, and I'm going to circle the window. And don't worry if you get like a small amount on your hyper dip or your plastic dip, you just don't want a lot. This is going to help water like roll off like when it's raining, when it beads up. And I didn't get this edge here, so I'm not going to do that yet. So there's my circle. Now the, wind, the side rear view mirror needs the circle. And I sprayed that window. Okay, so let's do our side to side here. Very lightly. Okay. And I think I missed the towels, but that's okay. And now the window, I can do the circle. So remember, we need circle here. Okay, shake it up, and let's get this back drawer panel. Some people will probably break this down into one piece, but since it takes so long, I tend to do bigger sections, which sometimes is not a good idea. Okay, so I know I can circle the window. I need to let this sit. Okay, so the window has to have its circle. And if you see like little swirls or smudges, I think that just means that you haven't wiped it in enough. So like I said, when you do the circles, you can put a little bit of pressure if you want. Okay, so now the door is still wet. It needs a side to side. But before I do that, I need to pick another surface. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know what? I'll do the top half of the car. This is the side side, right? Right, okay. Shake. And this half of the windshield. Okay. And the way you test it, well, obviously this is on a curve, so it's gonna slide, but the on the hood you'll see if I do the test on the recording, the way you test to make sure that you did it right is if you put it on the hood and a bottle slides and you did it right. Okay, so that's what surface that is a side, and the door has not had a side yet either, right? But that's okay. So back and forth here, very lightly. Next thing, you don't have to push that hard and back and forth. And then that's going to be a circle. So now I can spray again. The one show needs a little bit more time for it side to side. So now the back half of the car here, I don't know if you guys can still see me. And like I said, a lot of people would actually do smaller surfaces, but I'm a bit impatient. Okay, so the door is going to need a circle. This is my side to side here, right? Back and forth very lightly. And when I come back over this, I'll rub a little harder. All right. And then circle on the door. But yes, over time, your car will have like that mirror shine. And I wasn't going to do it, but we're in monsoon season, so I have to start driving my car more. And I don't want the water to always like leave a, I'm gonna do a circle one more time on this window, to leave water spots. And that's what's really good for. Okay, so window needs a circle. This is a circle towel. And the back needs a side to side before I circle the window. And if you wanna be a little more detailed than I am, then that's fine. It's just that my car already has so many coats on it. And I don't really think that I actually got this right back here. Yeah, I think I didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna wet this part. I have to do the part next anyway. All right, so that side to side. We can circle the windshield here. I 
All right, so let me do a time check and see where we are at. And I remember I didn't spray the top there either, so there's my circle back. And that's gonna be the side to side back there. Okay, so I'll do a time check first, do that side to side. And then, I don't know, it all depends. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll finish up the side here on camera, I'll pause, I'll get that side done, and I'll come back and I'll walk you and give you a close up. Okay, so we still have the side side back there. I just did the circle here. So I'm letting that sit. And we'll go from there. And like I said, I know I forgot. You're probably thinking, you keep forgetting to shake it. You're absolutely right. Okay, so every time you spray, you want to shake. So here's my side to side. Shake it. And I'll take care of the top half of the car before I get to the back. Sorry about that, but I didn't get this. Okay, I can get that actually on this. I'm gonna do this whole top here. Um, yeah, I'll do the back in a second. Okay, so that means side to side. And I just did a circle there. So let me look. Circle here. That's gonna be a side to side. Ah, circle on the back. Yeah, right here. I didn't do a circle here. Sometimes you can tell, sometimes you can't by the time you've kind of went over it. And remember this part, the very, very back is my side to side still. Okay, so that's a circle right the side to side. I just sprayed that top, totally moved that, I just laid it on there. And I'll side to side here. And then, let's see, yep, side to side here. All right, so that means the back half meets the circle. This meets the circle next. So I need to spray another surface. I'll head that to the back. That needs a circle, that needs a circle. I'm gonna hit this window right here, back on the joke, and the back half of this trunk. Okay, let that sit. Now this here can do a circle, and then I got a circle the top up there, right? Okay, so circle back here. So that's the general idea, you guys, of how you do it. It does take some time. And I've been busy all morning. I did my treadmill walk. I washed the car. And so, uh, a little tired here, but I'm gonna get this finished. Okay, circle towel. And then I know that I just sprayed something. What did I spray? Let's see. You know what, I'm gonna get this edge. I can kind of go over the edge in a second. Oh, I need to circle the top, that's right. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna get this done here. I remember I haven't side to side that yet. All right, so this whole half of the car, believe it or not, is actually going to circle this a little bit more. Okay, and I forgot to do a time check, right? So let me get the side to side in here. Now I'll, I'll come check you guys in a second. And the trunk, I think I'm gonna spray a little bit more today. Like I said, I'm gonna get these water spots off of here. Okay, so that's my side to side. And I just circled that. Okay, so I remember I gotta do a circle here, and I need another side to side area. All right, let's do a time check, you guys. Let's see where we at. All right, we're 19 minutes. Okay, so that is the general idea. All right, I'm going to actually finish the whole entire car. It's going to take me about another 30 minutes. And then I'm going to show you guys up close. And I haven't done this in a while, so I'm going to warn you guys that if you're not really all that impressed, um, one, I'm tired. Like I said, I just washed the whole car and everything like that. And I just did my trimmer walk before that and it's for 40 minutes. And so 
Um, I'm gonna try and get it to look the way I've gotten it to look before. There are a couple stubborn, like I said, those stubborn scratches up here are kind of frustrating. Um, but let's see what I can get done with it. And then we'll just see. We'll see what happens when you don't do the torque to your car for, oh my gosh, it's been about four months. All right, I'll be back in a second, you guys. Okay, you guys, so I finished. Now we're going to do the test. So like I said, you take the torque bottle and you set it on your hood. Now it might look like it's scratching it, but it's not. Okay, and see how it slid? Now I'm gonna get a uh, microfiber cloth here. And I'm just gonna wipe that off. Okay, so you guys can see that in scratching. There's that little stubborn scratch I told you guys about. Okay, so here is what it looks like. Remember, I'm gonna let it sit for the entire five hours. And it's been sitting for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. I realized that I needed to do the dip coat to protect the hyper dip, so I went ahead and I did that. But I don't know, hopefully the recording doesn't look as fuzzy as it. So let me see if I can get it at an angle where you can see like how it's like a mirror. Here's the windows. And then I think I'll pause and turn off the garage light so you guys can tell. There's my sticker here. Yeah, but I'm really hoping this doesn't look as fuzzy. Let me see if I can focus this for a second. No, to me it still looks fuzzy. I don't know. I just cleaned off my phone case. So give me a second. I'm going to turn off the light so you guys can kind of get a um, more closer look at like the, there's the top. I like the shine. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so turning out the lights didn't work like I thought it would. It didn't look the way it looks to the regular eye, but you can see there's the front windshield. And I'm just going to do a quick walk around. Like I said, stubborn scratches just, oh, you guys, work in progress. Hopefully you guys can see this. I know it's reflecting everything, which is exactly what it does. And then for some reason, the right side of my car always comes out looking better. I don't know why. The, from the hyper dip to the torque, like everything, you can see. I mean, like it literally, literally reflects a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know if I can get back here to get the hood. Or actually, I'm sorry, I'm walking back towards the trunk. I told you guys I am tired. Let's take a look at the top. I have been doing stuff all day back to back. Okay, so let's go take, like I said, a look at the trunk. And I might have to pause because of my license plate, but maybe not. Okay, let's see here. So here's the trunk. And like I said, it, I tried to be careful not get on the letters because my letters are hyper tips. And I know up close, it's like, oh, I see water spots and stuff, but you, you really don't want to get that. And then here's a little bit of the back. So just to give you guys a general idea. Now remember, it still has to cure all the way. You know, they recommend that you let it sit for five hours. Okay, so if you see some swirls and you're kind of concerned, you're like, oh my gosh, like what happened? Um, here's the, I did the sunroof too. But don't worry because some of those swirls will go away as it starts to cure more. But yeah, you guys, that's it. So I'm going to get out of here. Um, I am super hungry and I need to get cleaned up, but we'll, See if I can get, I'm gonna walk back into my ring, uh, what do you call it, stand here, and it literally is like right there. Here's a bucket right behind me. I am really about to almost just make myself fall over everything.
But yeah, over time, it'll get better. You'll get better at it. You'll get better at the technique. Um, and then this is the part down here that I was talking about. I know you see the water spots in like some of the parts where it dripped. Mind you, I didn't do the hyper dip with that uh, thing you put on top of your spray can. So my nails kind of made little splatters. But that's the part I was talking about. Try to be careful if that's dipped, even if it's plastic, not to get the torque on it. It won't ruin it. I just think that it, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to make blemishes on it or what have you, but I tried to stay away from it. Okay, so there's kind of a, a view just that it's not exactly at eye level, but so you guys can kind of get an overall idea. And um, I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm not going to wipe over it anymore. I'm just going to let it sit. Whatever settles in, settles in. It's not super permanent so far as, like I said, the swirls and stuff like that. The torque, you know, over time, it, I would say, builds up a little bit. You know, it's like um, every time you put more on there, I guess you can say a little bit more is left after you wash it. So um, you might find that you might spray your car down with the soapy water and then look back at your car and half of it is dry and it doesn't even look like you need to like wet it to get the the soapy water off okay so it, it's it's crazy i go ahead and wet it anyway and then um just really quick i'm going to show you guys i know i'm still wrong i don't know if i mentioned this but after I wash my car, let me see what you guys can see. Okay. So, like I said, I hand wash my car. So after I do that, I use this. And I'm going to talk about this in my walk. I couldn't say the name. The Absorber. Hopefully that's actually reading the correct way and it's not backwards for you guys. It dries anything faster and easier. And... It just says simply the best first choice of car lovers. And um, it tells you it's street free, lint free drying for cars, trucks, and SUVs. And then it absorbs faster and holds more water than a leather. I do not have, know how to say that word. Chamois. I don't know what that is. C H A M O I S. I've never heard that word. If I had, I probably would have been able to say it just now. Um, and then I believe, let me read over the instructions just really quickly because, oh my gosh, this is very small. It does say that it is machine washable, washed with liquid soap and ammonia if desired. Do not bleach. Before first use, rinse thoroughly with warm water may be stored damp in tube so it's ready to use. If the absorber dries out, simply re-wet. Okay, so yes, re-wet this. And it does not say if you're actually supposed to wring it out. So when you wet it, I probably wouldn't wet it that much. Like if it's dripping, then maybe you should wring it before you start uh, dragging it over your car. And this is what it looks like. I might as well just go ahead and show you guys real quick. It's pretty big, and um, the general idea, I'm not gonna do this because obviously the torque is on here, but you take it and you like lay it on your car, whichever way is more comfortable for you. It's gonna be kind of hard at some angles depending on like if you're right or left-handed, and it'll be laying flat like that, and then you just drag it across and literally it just takes the water like right off your car. Um, sometimes you might have to go over your hood this way and it'll lay flat that way and then you drag it like this. Okay, they come in different colors. So the purple, we have a red one. And um, like I said, just damp it before you use it. And if you feel it's too much, just rings it a little bit. But yeah, so it does need to be kind of wet to be ready to go. And you can just store it back in here. So yeah, you guys, um, that's it. Like I said, I'm going to get out of here. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick because um, it takes a lot to hand dry a car after you wash it to get it ready for the torque. Like you said, you want to get as much water off the car as you can. Um, so this is what we use. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. And um, if you want, like and subscribe. If not, that's fine. 
I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And as always, thank you for watching Upfront and Honest Reviews. You guys, stay safe. Bye.